Hey, lovely creative people. Welcome in to day 25 of our daily creative practice. We are hoping to spread contagious creativity everywhere on the planet. Today, I am going to show you one of my favorite things, and this is kind of going to become a Saturday thing, I hope, for us. It is called folding and folders. That's what I'm going to be doing most Saturdays, hopefully this year, if I can find enough things to fold, and I'm sure that's not going to be a problem. So anyway... I want to show you how to make some pockets by folding pages of our altered book. And trust me, this can be addictive. I'm going to come in here onto this page and I am going to fold it down this direction. Just take it where it meets and fold it where it meets the seam there. And that's, there's no real measuring to be done here and burnish that down and then go to the page behind it and do the same thing in the opposite direction. So we're folding up and we're folding down and look what happens when we do that. We create this wonderful little space in here. There's going to be a pocket here. There's going to be a pocket here there's a little tab there, and there's gonna be a pocket here. So we have lots of little tuck spots from this. Okay, so now all we do is come to this underside, and I am, and you know what? You really don't have to tape or glue along there, but let's just do it just to reinforce. And I'm gonna come in with this and just go right down along the seam and this is going to reinforce the seam as well as the pages okay and fold this over and you're going to be proud of me i actually cleaned my bone folder yesterday and I don't want to get it dirty again, so. <laughs> That's just kind of how it goes around here, isn't it? Okay, so this one is takes a little more thinking. Uh, we could go ahead and block that off, but I don't think I want to. I think I want a tuck spot there, and I think I want a tuck spot here. So what I'm going to do this time is let me make sure I don't get too far. Go ahead and put some glue right along there. And come in and smooth that along. Isn't that awesome? So that is a spot where we can tuck some cute little things that we have made. Let me see if I can dig out some things here. Of course, we can make tags or anything we want out of our little notebook paper that we did. Let me see if I can find some more stuff in here. Little tags can go in that little spot. Bigger things can go in here. So there we could have two or three things right in that area. And then something else down here, of course. Something bigger. Not that big. But maybe a little journaling card. How is that? And then I think I want to glue that right there together. Just in this area to give it a little more stability there. I think that'll help when we want to turn that page. And again, we've got some area right there where we can 
put one of our little things. So there's lots of stuff that we can do in that on that page because there's lots of little hide holes, tuck spots, whatever you want to call them there. And I will finesse these a little bit more. This journal card is pretty well done. I rounded the edges, I gave a space. It's got stamping, it's got stenciling, it's got our watercolor background. So we've got a lot going on on that, but it's beautiful, isn't it? So I'm gonna take some of these and make some more stuff to put in those pockets. And then I wanna show you one more folded place toward the back of our box, book, <laughs> toward the back of our book, not box. So I want you to think about how you can use folding your pages. And there's lots of different ways. You can combine tearing with folding. So here's another one. We're gonna start the same exact way that we did before by folding up to the center. Then we're going to fold this top part in toward the center. And there we have a spot and a spot and a spot. So you see where I'm going here? See, you can keep going further and fold and fold until your heart's desire. And you can paint these, you can stamp these. There's lots of things you can do. And these stay pretty stable even without glue. So you might wanna just make this a little flap in there that has a tuck spot over there. And I think that's actually what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down, this edge. To make that a little stable. But I think I'm going to leave this one open and I think what I'm gonna do there, since I'm having some issues, I'm gonna take my funky little scissors, my little scalloped ones that we've been using and I am going to trim this right along that edge so that it's, and it's not straight, but that's okay. And then I think I'm gonna come in and kind of darken that edge there. Put something under it so I don't get it on the bottom part. That's kind of nifty. And let's come on down into this area. And we can go ahead and do right along in there. So many things to have fun with. So I'll just play by darkening, darkening a lot of this up. And look at that, that's pretty cool. I kind of created a stencil with this scalloped edge right there and made a scallop on there. So that's pretty cool in and of itself, isn't it? It's all about play and exploring and finding what you love to do. And I just love to get into the studio and just start creating. Uh, I have kind of an idea of what direction I wanna go. So I just start off in that direction and go and see what happens and see where it takes me. So I think that's pretty cool in there. There's another tuck spot or something that we can make. I think that will be cool to carry on our theme here. And I will fix that up a little bit. And maybe what I'm gonna do is come in and trim this edge back so it will sit in that pocket kind of neat. Neater than it does. That's pretty good. So let me go ahead and just trim that. Most of the time, you know, I love to tear. 
that's my favorite thing to do is tear. I love torn edges, but that's kind of nice. It peeks out and I've got a lot of things I can do on that. So anyway, this was kind of quick today, I think, but I can't wait to come back on Monday. I've got something really, really cool to show you. I'm going to I'm going to give you a peek. Maybe just a little peek here in the front. You probably can't see much, but anyway, that's just a little teaser for what we're going to come in and do on Monday. So tomorrow I will be back with my Sunday confession and it's going to be a good one. I'm not going to give you a hint about that, but it's going to be pretty good. So stay in and listen for your little dose of creative motivation and creative inspiration tomorrow. So how can I inspire you and your creativity today? I would love to know. So please go on the Facebook page, which is Creativa, or anywhere where you find these videos on Instagram. They are now all loaded to my Rebecca E. Parsons YouTube channel. Yay! I finally finished that and got caught up with that. So I, you can find me several places, but like and share. Please share with other people so we can get our contagious creativity just rolling all over the place. I know that you know somebody who would just love to play with us. So come on down. Let them know. Bring them in and let them see look around and see if they like what they see because this is the 25th video so we are on a roll aren't we anyway let me get out of here for this beautiful saturday morning this is rebecca and may joy be with you all